Let's play magic squares. You're going to need a grid that's four by four. Just like that. Now we're going to put the numbers one through sixteen on this grid such that when you add up the diagonals they always add up to the number thirty-four. Okay, and so when you add up the numbers this way, it's 34. This way, it's 34. This way, it's 34. And when you add each corner, it's also 34. And when you add these four, it's also 34. Do you think you can do that? Let me show you. There are actually 86 ways of picking four numbers that add up to 34. And the magic square I'm going to show you here, this was the first magic square to be published in Europe in the year 1514. And you can actually find 1514 buried in this magic square. So what does that mean? That means every time you add this diagonal, it's 34. This diagonal, it's 34. Each one of the corners adds to 34. The one in the middle adds to 34. Each row adds to 34, and each column adds to 34. So how is this a game? Well, once you have this, you can block out certain numbers and see if you can figure out what those would have to be in order to make this true. Now, to make your own square, you do this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay? Then you swap the corners. You put the 3 here and the 7. You put the 1 here and the 9. Okay? And then you kind of squish it. So what that means is, so if this is the square before we squished it, okay? What that means is, is you're going to write the 2, then you're going to write, so you write the 2 first, then you write the 9, 7 below it, and then below that you're going to write 4, 5, 6, and then below that the 3 and the 1 and then the 8. And then you take this, and you write 2, 7, 6, and then you write this one, which is 9, 5, 1, and then you write the next one, which is 4, 3, 8. And that is your magic square. And if you look, sure enough, every direction and the diagonals all equal the magic sum of 15. Now this is great because once you have this, you can kind of block out certain numbers and ask someone to figure out what it has to be for the sum to always fif be 15. And you give them a partially filled magic square like this. And that's how you can play magic squares. Benjamin Franklin was actually an avid player of this game. Let me show you an upside down square. Okay, So this is going to be a 4x4. Four four, so okay, We're going to draw 16 squares. Okay. What do you think the magic sum is going to be for this square? So you may be thinking, what's so upside down about this square? Because it works both ways. Isn't that cool? By the way, the magic sum for this square is 264. Go ahead and give that a try.